Good morning. It is a beautiful day in the Bahamas, as expected. Check it out. It's about 9.30 in the morning and I got up, I showered, my hair is all wet, I put on my bubble tea t-shirt and this is actually a Fung Bros t-shirt. I love their channel and I love their merch, it's really, really cool. I love how it's like slightly Asian themed. Um, I'm very tongue in cheek. Anyway, I have a property tour at 10.30 today. So before that, I definitely need a coffee and I think I saw a Starbucks at the end of the casino, the other end of the casino yesterday, so I'm gonna go look for it right now. Hopefully I make it back in time for my property tour. Let's go. Okay, so we just took a little tour of the property. We walked down to the beach, which was really cool. We're gonna go back there later to go see a conch salad being made and like full on like live conch to conch salad, which I'm a little bit like excited about. Anyway, so yeah, here I am. I'm by the shop for the Grand Hyatt. You can see how beautiful it is here. But I'm gonna head back up. I think I'm gonna get some breakfast or lunch or brunch. Um, I just got sprayed by a waterfall. We're back at the conch shack and we're gonna see the conch things being made. Lots of conch. Facebook Live and now we're at a lookout point over the golf course and it is so beautiful. Check out the Facebook Live and the Food and Wine Facebook page. It's really cool. They make conch and waffles. But here, we're check it out. Check look at this view. It's amazing. I think that's it for day two of Bahamar. I am exhausted. I feel like I've eaten so much food here, but when I really think about it, I think the math breaks down something like this. I feel like I've eaten like 70% 
Asian and Asian inspired food and like 30% conch because we did our Facebook Live about conch and waffles. We had conch yesterday, we had that amazing conch salad today after lunch and lunch was Asian. And then for dinner we had katsuya but they also do variations on Asian dishes that are made of conch. So yeah, all in all, a pretty well balanced two days so far. I have about, probably like from when I wake up tomorrow, like three or four hours left of awake time in Bahamar. I am gonna try to use them wisely and maybe go to the buffet tomorrow. And I don't know, like I think my coworker still wants to go see the, like the, there's like a wildlife preserve sort of thing. I don't think that's the right word. I think there's like a wildlife experience where you can go and interact with stingrays and fish. And I think there might be like a small shark there. Um, so I don't know if we're gonna do that tomorrow, but I don't know if we have time. I haven't even like, I think I, well, I did walk on the beach today, so but I haven't had any serious beach time on this trip, obviously because it's for work and so we were mostly just doing work stuff. But hopefully I can come back at some later date and really experience like the vacation life here at Bahamar. I mean, it's the most amazing property. And it's not even just one property, it's like a city unto itself. So yeah, I'm closing out day two. I hope you're having a great week so far. I am heading back to New York tomorrow, so it may be a travel vlog. I don't really know what we're getting up to in the morning, but hope you're having a great night. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon. Bye.